Battle of Ajnadin. You have 90,000 Romans to one side and you have 30,000 Muslims to the other side. For every Muslim you have three Romans. In spite of this, the Romans are being slaughtered like never before. According to the historian Waqidi, in that battle, 50,000 Romans were killed, whereas only 450 Muslims were killed. Before the battle even began, you had the naked warrior, Virar ibn Azwar. And the reason they would call him the naked warrior is because when this man would fight on the battlefield, believe me, he would fight like a man. There was no such thing as armor. This man, when he would come on the battlefield, he would take off his upper garment. And he would be covered from his sitter, from below the navel. That would be covered, the top half, he would have nothing on. And this is how he would fight, and this is why the Romans would call him the naked champion. Before this battle even begins, the battle of Ajnadin, Virar ibn Azwar was being pursued by 30 Romans. And this man single-handedly killed 19 Romans, one after the other, before the rest fled. And the Romans were desperate. They were desperate for an idea or else. They would be annihilated. Every one of them would be killed. So they come up with an idea, and this is that we will kill the Muslim commander Khalid bin Walid. This is their plan. That they will send a man to meet with the Muslims. And this man will tell the Muslims to make peace. And then Khalid should personally meet Wardan, the Roman general, in between the two armies. To discuss the terms of peace. And both generals should meet alone. And when Khalid approaches Wardan, Wardan will draw him into combat. Ten men hiding nearby will pounce upon Khalid and they will cut him into pieces. This was their plan. Simple as this. So they choose a man called David, a Christian Arab, to go meet with the Muslims. David comes to meet with the Muslims. And when he saw the battle-scarred face of Khalid bin Walid, and believe me, Khalid resembled Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala. Khalid was not a small man. He was a big man. Just like Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala. And when he saw the battle-scarred face of Khalid bin Walid, the effect was devastating. And when Khalid said to David, speak. If you speak the truth, you will survive. If you speak a lie, you will die. David was no longer the same man that he was five minutes ago. <laughs> he conveys the message of Wardan to Khalid bin Walid. This is what Khalid says to him. If what your master intends is deceit, then let me tell you by Allah, we are the masters of deceit. And there is none like us in strategy and guile. And if what your master intends is a plot, then let me tell you, it will only hasten to annihilate the rest of you. And if what your master is saying is the truth, then tell him, we will only make peace if he pays the jizya, if he pays the tax. Any offer of wealth, we are not interested. Why? Because we believe we're going to take that from you anyway. <laughs> now he returns to convey the message of Khalid bin Walid to Wardan. Such was the impact of Khalid bin Walid on the hearts of his enemy, that this same person is returning to Wardan to convey the message of Khalid bin Walid, when all of a sudden, after taking a few steps, he does a U-turn. U-turn with 100% yaqeen and conviction that the sword of Allah will win and the Romans will be destroyed and defeated in respect of their plan. And he comes and he informs Khalid bin Walid of the entire plot by the Romans to kill him. This is what he'd do to his enemy.